purple, yellow, purple. And we're here today to support AB 47, the Preschool for All Act of 2014. Uh, we also know that whether or not this uh, bill uh, becomes law, we know our work continues to fund preschool in the budget. And so this bill, if, if signed into law, would set the framework for funding it every year. And we're here today to focus on the rally for more early education and continue uh, the quest for early education for all. We know that overwhelming research shows that investing in quality early education is highly effective in promoting student academic success, closing the achievement gap, uh, preventing kids from entering the juvenile justice system in the first place, which our, our DA can talk about, and fighting poverty. We know that by age two, low-income children many times are six months behind in language development and by age five are more than two years behind language development related to their higher income peers. That's just unacceptable. By tackling this issue and investing in high quality early education, we can, ad we can ad address the achievement gap before children enter kindergarten. As a preschool teacher for more than two decades, I have seen the importance of quality early childhood education and the benefits it provides for many of my young students and community. In Sacramento, I run a fee-based preschool program that prepares children for kindergarten readiness and future academic success. For more than 30 years, I have given free tuition to as many as five students per year at a cut in my own pay because I believe strongly that all children need and must have early childhood education. It is disheartening to know that 30,000 four-year-olds are without access every year to preschool programs such as mine. I know California can and should do better for all kids, regardless of income. Access to higher quality childhood education programs. I believe that our children should be the state's top priority. California has the opportunity to invest in our future. Prior to being elected, I was a supervisor of our child abuse unit. And again, we know that <coughs> investing in children will not only reduce their chances of entering the juvenile justice system, but will reduce their chances of becoming victims of child abuse or neglect. And so with that in mind, I am very proud to stand here and say thank you to Assemblyman McCarty for asking me to come here um, because I'm here on behalf of public safety. I'm also here on behalf of being a parent of two young children that I recognize that it's cr incredibly important to reach children early, that we can in fact fight crime by investing in kids early. So thank you and I at really do urge the governor to sign this piece of legislation. When I first became a parent, I was blindsided by many things. However, nothing hit me harder than the steep price and unavailability of high quality childcare and preschool in our state. I was shocked to learn that many of my neighborhood preschools here in Sacramento had years long wait lists and if I wanted to get a spot for my son, I would have to sign him up when he was still an infant. That's not right. I hope that my son will receive a high quality preschool experience to set him up for success in kindergarten and beyond. I can't imagine how low income families across the state who are facing the same concerns are not able to access state preschool because of lack of spaces available. Every family, regardless of income or their zip code, deserves to know that their child is ready for kindergarten, and we need AB 547 to make this happen. Show us how you do lying down. Every year, California leaves behind about 30,000 young people who don't have the opportunity to experience what we have right next door. You know, we go over here, we have a lot of smiles, but we also walk away knowing that tens of thousands of California kids don't have the resources to, to, to achieve this, and that's what we're all about here today, helping them get ready to succeed in school. Again, I'm, I'm proud to be part of this broad coalition of parents, teachers, law enforcement, business leaders who support increased access to quality early education. We hope the governor shares this vision before October 11th, and I think us joining today and speaking up will increase our odds of success. And uh, we ho again, we hope Governor Brown signs this measure. Get your blue. Put two blues here. That's your pattern.